You might have read a tweet from me that says Shiki Tono and Goku. You might be like, what the fuck? One of the things I really want to talk about today is about fighting game gatekeepers. And I'm really glad that Melty Blood is going to come out. I, as I said last week, I am from Melty Blood. Melty Blood is Pallet Town for me, right? Mel Melty Blood is hometown. During Melty Blood, at Cadenza, by the way, at Cadenza, NBA C days, a big tournament was like 50 people, 5-0. It was a huge deal for 50 people. Melty Blood had a really, really bad reputation in uh, fighting games when I started. It's called mashy, super simple, blah, 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 which kind of brings us to today. And you know, there's a mixed reception about Melty Blood right now. A lot of people are excited. I'm really happy that people are excited. I'm really glad a new Melty Blood game is even on the horizon. When they announced Melty Blood type Lumina, I guess the way I would put it is I was so shocked I did not have a reaction. That's the best way I could put it. We gave up on asking for HD Melty and they're just like, hey, by the way, just out of nowhere, and they're like, yeah, the game's 80% done. Like, that shit really, really came out of nowhere. How am I going to connect this? Why am I talking about fighting game gatekeepers and Melty Blood? And actually, specifically, I will put on uh, this. You already know it's time for some good old 240p. You know the video is going to be good when I pull up some 240p videos from 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Okay, everyone put on your 240p glasses, by the way. You already know. Again, let's circle back. So this thing that came in my head too is actually, shout out to Leon Macy. I don't know if he knows who I am or anything. I subscribed to him. I watch most of his videos. I have to lie, I watch all his videos, by the way. And he has a video called Fighting Games Are For Everybody. And I really feel like this is important. I want to talk about it because Melty Blood's coming out. And there are people out here really trying to talk about how Melty Blood is going to be the real fighting game for our hardcore players. And, and I'm going to say even more specifically, people who hate on Guilty Gear Strive for being a scrubby game and they say Melty Blood is the hardcore game that is going to be the thing that everyone wants. There's so many things to talk about. First of all, how hypocritical can you be to say that about the game? We have an idea of how it plays, but really no one knows how to play the game. And if you know the reputation the game has, you have to understand how ridiculous you sound two for the people who don't know what they're talking about as far as melty and they're just saying it okay let me tell you what type of game melty but is four things i got four things written down and i need you to tell me if it's from a game that has goku dragon ball fighters or from a game that has chic tono number one relatively homogenous characters at a base level what game has that the game with goku or melty blood the game with goku or melty blood what do we got chat Goku, Goku, both? It has to be Goku, right? So the answer is both. The answer is both. Both games, sorry, have relatively similar characters at a base level. So one thing I used to do in Melty Blood days is I used to do random select $1 money matches and hope that I would get one of the 60% of the characters that play like the rest of the characters. Because it, it, it's a gamble. Like there's a, there's a chance that you'll get a character that doesn't play like everyone else, but you'll probably get a character that plays like everyone else at a baseline. Uh, Tom Berry, LPT, myself, generic superhero. It was like a thing. It was fun. And then, uh, and then we just do that for like two, three hours, right? So here's number two. Here's number two. Again, Shiki Tono or Goku. Almost everyone has the same BNB. Shiki Tono or Goku. Goku, Shiki, Shiki Tono. Yes, again, the answer is both. Again, the answer is both. If you watch my Dragon Ball content, almost every time a new character comes out, one of the first things I say is that the universal BNB works for this character. Melty Blood, of course, BCBC BC Air Throw. Everyone knows. Button, button, launch, BCBC BC Air Throw. All right? Number three. Which game has less attack buttons? Shiki Tono or Goku? Melty, 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 Melty. Yeah, you guys know. Melty Blood has three attack buttons. A, B, and C. Dragon Ball has light, medium, heavy, special, and two assists. So Dragon Ball literally has twice as many buttons as Melty Blood. And last, 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 last. Who has simpler inputs? Which game has simpler inputs? Shiki Tono or Goku? DBZ? Goku, Goku, Goku. Everyone's saying Goku. Everyone's saying Goku. I really want to cap and say it's both, but actually the truth is Dragon Ball. The truth is Dragon Ball. Melty Blood has 421 and 623. So for my people who don't know number notation, and if you don't know number two notation and you watch my YouTube channel, then I really like you. <laughs> By the way, thanks for watching. But uh, yes, Dragon Ball has simpler inputs than Melty Blood. Melty Blood has DP, so sorry, forward, down, down, forward, and back, down, down, back. But both games have a theme of simple inputs so multi blood for example does not have half circle back forward for example 
overall, like the hardest thing you will do in Melty Blood is a double quarter circle. You want to know something else Melty Blood and Dragon Ball have in common? Both games, both of those games, people said were for scrubs when they came out. The truth is, uh, I'm going to put it more politely than I did last week. The truth is every single game has depth. Every single game is difficulty. Even if you perceive the game to be easy, what happens is the people who play the game push the limit, the upper limit of what's possible to the game. And as time goes on, the game gets updates and change and it, it, it improves, honestly, it improves. So if you take a game like Melty Blood at Cadenza, this game here specifically, one of the things I remember the most about this game is that people said this game is so balanced that it's boring. Think about that. I think a lot of people are crying about the mids dispensers in fucking Guild Gears Drive. What I what I want to say also is these fighting game gatekeepers, if you're new and you're listening like, to like, uh, you hear hearsay about games of like, this game is like Guild Gears Drive is dry. Oh, okay. You know that they make games worse today than they do before. Honestly, low key fighting games today are better than old fighting games. It might, it might hurt somebody's feelings. A lot of old fighting games have a lot of fun shit. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of fun shit. It's about the character power. Character power, right? The character power is dope. If you like strong broken shit, you really like old games. But they all there's also a ton of unfair shit. This this game right here, not even MBAA. I'm talking about this game. This game could come out today. Multi Blood type Lumina could literally just be at Cadenza with high res sprites, and it would be pretty well received. You know, there's gonna be people who would say the normal, you know, it's new, so fuck it. At this time, they're so used to a higher character power that they're like, oh, this game's scrubby, there's no sauce, blah, blah, blah. Today, this game would be pretty well received. It's pretty, it's again, pretty fair. Every character has like a couple of things that they do that's good. It's easy to learn new characters too, relatively. Like there's not a lot of like weird outliers uh, for my Dragon Ball people. Like let's say you play Dragon Ball and you learn how to play like Goku and Vegeta, right? So now you can play like half the cast and then you try Ginyu and you're like, what the fuck do I do with Ginyu? Like, but like once you learn Goku and Vegeta, you're you're good. As time went on with Melty Blood, we eventually got to where we are today with CC, where that version is for the people who, is, who stuck with it, right, basically. I feel like today, one thing that's really good about today's fighting games is that they understand how important the first version of the game is for the, let's say, general reception of the game. I played a game called BBCT, and I feel like one of the reasons that game died so fast in the US is because it really was a meme game like it really 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 was just a crazy unfair stupid ass game and it, it was a new ip no one knew what the fuck blaze blue was at the time so that shit couldn't make it like it's really it, they actually have to be pretty cautious as far as like guilty gear strive i do feel like over time they're going to be adding a lot of stuff not just characters but like mechanics and things like that but uh to you uh faceless gatekeepers of the F fgc like you can feel however you want you gotta understand man I play a lot of fighting games. I play a lot of new fighting games. And I don't just say that people say that shit over and over and over. I've been through it now through Melty Blood, Blaze Blue, Persona 4 Arena, Guilty Gear Exert, Dragon Ball, Grand Blue, and now Strive. So now seven titles. I'm not even counting versions, just titles, right? Now seven titles. I'm hearing this over and over and over. And then having to hear later when a new game comes out, some motherfucker with a Twitter egg be like, man, fuck this new game is for scrubs. But like Persona 4 Arena 1 is godlike. Or BBCS was godlike. That was a real game. You guys literally don't know what you're talking about. And you're a fucking bot. It literally keeps happening. I don't just say it keeps happening. I've been through this seven times now. It might be eight. I'm very much looking forward to Melty Blood type Lumina as well. It's a little tangent, right? Here's a list of games that I don't like. I usually don't like talking about games that I don't like because when I played this game, Melty Blood, that now everyone loves, when I was playing it actively and everyone hating on it, I got really tired of people talking shit about the game that I loved. I, it really bothered me. The moment that I really understood this is doing Skullgirls pretty early. There was a tournament called Apex and there were Skullgirls players in a room, not a lot of them, like 30-ish, but the room was really big and they were all in one section of the room. So I took a picture of the empty section of the room and I was like, yo, rip Skullgirls. And the, the Skullgirls player came at me like, dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? Well, like, what is wrong with you? Like, why would you do that? And like, I, I thought about it for a couple of days and I was like, man, like I always get mad when people do these things to Melty Blood. And then I did that shit to another game. I, I am a fucking cap star and I need to not do that anymore. So since then, even if I don't like a game, I won't generally, generally talk about it. 
but for the sake of this video, we can talk about a couple. One is actually Skull Ghost. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like watching my friends play Skull Ghost, but I don't like Skull Ghost. Uh, <laughs> two would be Undernight, a game that people love. Everyone loves Undernight. Don't like Undernight. Another game that everyone loves, Third Strike. Don't like Third Strike, everyone loves that game. But if you only watch me on YouTube, it's probably the first time you heard, you heard me be like, oh, I don't like this game. Oh, I don't like this game. Because I, I personally, as a multi player, I don't like it when they do that to my game. I don't like it when they do that to my game. And it feels bad, so I don't want to do it to other games. And also, as a side note, by the way, for people who actually go to tournaments like a beat and stuff, like, it's not those guys. It's a lot of, like, I don't want to say faceless, but, like, I want to say, like, Twitter eggs and stuff. Like, people just, like, going extra ham on stuff is a good example. Uh, I'm definitely ready for comments to be like, yo, we talk about Majin Obama, but like Obama is a perfect example of he just doesn't like Strive. That's fine. There's some people who say stuff about Strive, like, you know, there's no depth. Okay, you know the mini universe, blah, blah, blah. And then the game literally has the most important points of a G the thing that makes GG, GG to me. You know what I mean? There are some people who, by the way, their character's not in the game and stuff like that. And that I totally understand. I feel like if Million was not in the game, I could not play it. I I'll, I'll, I'll actually say that too. People who are posting on Twitter, saying shit on like Reddit and stuff. You guys just, you need to understand how much of a cap star you are. And if you're new, you need to not listen to these people and just pick the games that you like and try stuff. There's a lot of games you can try, right? There's a lot of games you can try. There's a lot of games with rollback not right now too on PC if you want to play shit on PC. This game specifically that's coming out, Multibud Type Lumina, is actually a game that I'm going to say, I'm going to say the thing that everyone hates. You guys ready? It's a game designed to be accessible for new players did, did, was that painful to hear was it did it hurt it might have hurt it's true again only three ab attack buttons most of the characters play the same everyone has the same bnb the inputs are easy the buffer is pretty big then the game evolved and they built on it they built on it and built on it and then we got what we got today cc and now they're gonna go back what game is not meant to be accessible for new players? Great question. Here we go. No, this is for the YouTube comments. What game is designed to not be accessible for new players? That's a really good question. And I'm going to ask that on Twitter. And I hope Sage makes another video about LK baiting the whole scene. That's a really good question. And also any questions. That's mostly what I got.